Anyway, let's crack on, shall we? Yes. And we've got some top interviews coming up in this hour uh, from the uh, year. But we're going to continue with the clips. And our old mate Mark Saggers, what a trooper. He's a, a, a master broadcaster. Oh, fantastic one of the best. So let's bring you the uh, best of Mark Saggers from Clips of the Week over the past year. We start with Sags setting the scene at Stamford Bridge. The sun shining at the moment, uh, the sky, well, blue is the colour, but for how long this afternoon? I like a bit of claret Sunday lunchtime, I like a bit of blue too. We've got it all covered on TalkSport. We all like a bit of blue, <laughs> but there's a time and a place, Sunday really. Sunday lunchtime's not, a bit much for us. Not, not when you're on air. <laughs> really? Well, he wouldn't be the first TalkSport presenter, but that's another story. Yeah. Not a lot of people know that Saggers used to be a wrestling referee. Did you know I that? didn't know. Everybody like watching game. it on television. I don't care. And everybody oh, do you know paying what? to watch I it on no television. Xenophobe, which was where the clubs were. Please money. look after Newcastle Let's United break. fans travelling to 12 midday Let's game. Break. <laughs> two falls, two submissions, or a knockout. <laughs> break! It was good, wasn't it? And there's been a goal, Sags. Goal at West Brom. Ian Danta. Nigel Pearson. There we are. Someone. <laughs> Close. Someone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Back to the League Cup final now in March. And here's Sags getting a touch excited. What a day, firstly, Whoa. with uh, what Spurs, a day, Spurs showing strength. What a day! Oodalally, oodalally. <laughs> That's like the old Robin Hood film. <laughs> this is Mark uh, welcoming, welcoming, welcome, welcoming, I always struggle with that word, mm. uh, the Suns, Martin Blackburn, on to kick-off. Let's hear from the Suns man, Mike Blackburn. Martin. Hi, Mark. How are you Hi, doing? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm well, thanks. How are you? Sorry about that. We've had uh, one or two teething problems and sounds tonight. Uh, I think we've That's got okay. everything sorted. Yeah, it's yeah, not but really an excuse for getting his name wrong. It's not it? really, is it? He's <clears throat> just covering his backside there, <laughs> isn't he? So, really. What's next, Andy? <laughs> it's back to Euro 2016 now, where, of course, TalkSport brought you every goal, every game, every day. Every goal, every day, every game, every movement, every injury. Every scare, every non-scare, every fan's moment, every day. I'll be watching you, as uh, Sting <laughs> once sang. And you said every day twice, so that slightly petered out, didn't it? It did, really, yeah. Now, in August this year, Mark Saggers uh, started hosting the full-time phone-in here on TalkSport, and it took a little bit of getting used to. Uh, you're listening to the uh, uh, programme here on TalkSport. Yeah, you are, yeah. We, we, we can't remember its name. I'm apparently, there was a few technical issues, uh, and Mike Blackburn was on the line. Hmm. Here he is in one of his favourite days of the year, transfer deadline day. Uh, we're two hours and 30 minutes away from close. Close! Because <laughs> he's naked, you know. Uh, he does old show naked, so that's when he puts his clothes back on. This is Saggers chatting to Paddy Barkley, the esteemed journalist, about Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. He's going to rediscover he's, he's his gonna, form he, of 2004. He's going to either rediscover his form of <laughs> 10 years ago, or we say he's only nine caps away yeah. from breaking Peter Shilton's record. Yeah. It's Bunkum. It is. Bunkum. <laughs> Bunkum. It was, yeah. What's next, Andy? It's Mark, and he's... Well, it is Mark. Well, of course, he's a Sagger special, of course he is, yeah. Wasn't. He is always keen to provide the audience with a behind-the-scenes insight, and uh, here he is with the scoop on Jurgen Klopp. Dave Roberts, he's one of our top groundsmen, and uh, he's, I'm not telling any tales here, but he said, you know, the first time he met Jurgen Klopp, he was invited into his office, he's got a big sofa. Oh, has he really? He's got a big sofa. <laughs> well, a bit Max Bygraves, didn't he? Yeah. 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 So, uh, back to February now, and we still can't work out what's going on here. Ding, 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 on all that stuff. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> yeah, no idea. <laughs> This is Mark on kickoff, recalling a speech he witnessed Darren Bent giving to some school kids. He spoke beautifully, elegu eloquently. He talked about some of the difficulties, some of the good things, some of the best. He was talking to children. He was educating them in a way that his club, Aston Villa, wouldn't understand. Why is the man shouting, Mummy? He's scaring me. <laughs> Bring Darren Bent back on. <laughs> uh, here's Saggers interviewing Team GB's Joe Pavey, ahead of the Rio Olympics. One of our top athletes joe pavey uh, mpe um sadly he won't be at rio because uh, denied that after uh, 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 injury um well it was a chest infection wasn't it joe that uh, meant that you uh, you, you didn't but uh, you're you're hoping still to be continuing at the world athletics in in a year's time no i am going to rio oh yeah definitely <laughs> Don't write her off just yet, <laughs> chest infection or not. <laughs> it's chest infection. And finally, here's Saggers with his old sparring partner, Stan Collymore. Team I can think team, of though. Jeff Thomas, Alan Pardew, yeah. John Barnes, uh, Matty Elliott, Muzzy Izzet, Neil Lennon. Yeah. After that comment and gone to the training ground saying, You're right. Are you sure? You're right. 
You're right. You're right. I don't know what we're doing right now. <laughs> well, you're saying you're right in a strange way to him about you four said, times. That's it. So there we are, the best of sagas over the past 12 months. And we